of time before the cafe opens. Hmm, guess it's a good morning to clean out the fridge. Oh, that's right. I cleaned it yesterday. <laughs> hmm, clean the oven. Oh, forgot. <laughs> cleaned it the day before. Looks like I'm all out of things to do. Hey, Pupcake. Think we should go strawberry shopping? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come back! Cupcake, come back here! Good morning, Strawberry! Good morning, Plum! Good morning, Strawberry! Good morning, Blueberry! Good morning, Strawberry! Hi, Raspberry! hair scent. Like it? Oh, delicious. Great! I have a new strawberry scented shampoo that would be perfect for you. Stop by later. I'll give you some. Thank you. <laughs> Morning, Orange. Morning, Strawberry. Where are you off to? Soon as I can catch Pupcake to Berry Glen for some strawberries. Need anything while I'm there? Oh, uh, yes. Pick me a few sunflower seeds. You got it. Pop cake. <laughs> there you are. Now please don't budge. I gotta get some sunflower seeds for orange.
bye-bye, Strawberry Shortcake. You are out early today. What is all this? My latest, greatest invention. A plant food that grows berry, berry fruits and vegetables. No more rolling apples all the way into town. Now they're just the right size for us. Mmm, very delicious, too. Well, <laughs> thank you. But there's only one problem. My berry bitty harvest is a bit more bountiful than I expected. Thank you. We've got to get these to Orange's General Store before they spoil. Wait till she sees these. She'll be so excited. I'll help you, Berry Can Bloom. Check. Thread? Check. Berries and bobbins, buttons and bows? Check and check, check and check. Can I get you anything else? No, thank you, Orange. This is all I need. Alrighty then. And thank you for shopping at Orange's General Store. Where there's a place for everything and a thing for every place. Morning, Orange. Good morning, Barry Can Bill. And what can I get for you today? I'll need three bolts, six nails, twelve pails, a bag of rags, a box of socks, and half a dozen wooden blocks. Got it. Oh, what kind of wood? Well, I hadn't really thought much about... I have pine, cherry, oak, mahogany, peach, apple, elm, ash, beech, hickory, ebony, cedar, poplar, maple, spruce, sycamore, teak, rosewood, rubberwood, cottonwood, walnut, and willow. Um... I'm having a special this week on willow. I'll take willow. Good choice. And will there be anything else? Got any sunflower seeds? Ooh, all out. But a fresh shipment is coming in today. Oh, Orange, I got your sunflower seeds. See? If we don't have it, we'll get it at Orange's General Store. The place where there's a place for everything and a thing for, um, every some place? <laughs> Good morning, Orange. Might you have room in your store for some delicious, nutritious berry bitty fruits and vegetables fresh from my berry own bitty garden? Wow. Um, yeah, uh, sure. Of course. Bring it on. You know, this is a lot of stuff. Can I give you some help making room for it? Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. I can make room on my own. Well, okay, but if you need any help rearranging... Don't be silly, Strawberry. Organization is my specialty. Okay, bring it in! <laughs> now, Custard! <laughs> This is not a toy. <laughs> wow! Do you think the store with a thing for every place has too many things and not enough places? Looks like Orange could use our help. Every time I ask, she says she's got it under control. Psst! Do you want to see what under control looks like? Yes, they're 
if you get to come quads, you've gone too far. What I mean is, I mean, the problem is... Problem? There, there, there's a problem? Oh, just, um, a bitty one. Oh, good. How bitty? Well, the peaches and carrots are sort of, um, wilting in the sun. Oh, the sun? I'm on it. I got it. It's under control. No worries. Great. Just great. One more goof up like this and the whole town will think I don't know how to run my store. Oh. Um, everything okay? Well, sure. Sun solved. Orange, are you sure there isn't anything we can do to help you? Thanks, Strawberry. But I've got the whole thing under control. Whoa! Uh, uh, so <laughs> refreshing. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to the cafe for breakfast. <laughs> Keep some waffles warm for you in case you get a break. Okay, who's next? Nope, been quiet here too. Not a customer all day. How about you? Nobody since you guys were here. The whole town's at Orange's store. I've had so much spare time, I reorganized all my potholders, alphabetized my spices, and now I'm sketching some designs for a bedroom makeover. Orange has got to be swamped. Too bad she won't let us help her. I know. I think she's sensitive about accepting help. She feels it's like admitting she failed. Did she ever come by for breakfast? Nope. I finally had to give away the stack of waffles I'd saved for her. <laughs> At least they didn't go to waste. Poor Orange. She's got to be hungry. It's almost lunchtime. I'm bringing her a sandwich. Least I can do. See you, Lemon. Okay, later. Bertram, stop talking to that mermaid and roll camera. And we're rolling. Hello, you lucky people. It's me, Mavis Maraschino, bringing you lifestyles of the very big bitty stars. I know you've been waiting all summer to find out where mega pop star Cherry Jam vacations. And now, thanks to me, you're going to find out. I am standing on the beach at the exclusive, reclusive, ultra-luxurious, very breezy bay resort. Um, Mavis? Here's our superstar now. Excuse me, Mavis. You called this the exclusive, reclusive, very breezy bay resort? It's really the happy, home-built, very bitty city resort. Cut! We were in the middle of a take, dear. Well, it's just that... This isn't Berry Breezy Bay Resort. It's Berry Bitty City Resort. Ba, bear, ba, breeze, oh, berry, berry, breezy, baboon. I mean, it doesn't make a bit of difference. Don't you see, my luminous lovelies? We must do the best with what we have. My viewers demand glamour, and they shall have glamour, and glitter, and gobs of both. Now, let's get a beauty shot of me under the palms. I don't know, Cherry. <laughs> Well, Berry Breezy Bay may be closed due to weather, but Berry Bitty Bay is closed due to Mavis. <sighs> There's always next summer to enjoy vacation. Wait a minute, girls. Don't give up on our vacation. This is my fault. She came looking for me. I'll fix it. Just go on with our vacation and, and I'll I'll think of something. Oh, Cherry, where's my little superstar? Quick, under here. <laughs> Cherry, what are you doing here? Shh. Has anyone seen Cherry Jam? Uh, I have no idea. Have you seen Cherry? <laughs> Can't imagine. Hmm. Oh, Cherry, Cherry. <sighs> Thanks, girls. Hmm. This gives me an idea. There's no reason for Mavis to shoot a pop star. If there's no pop star to shoot now, is there? <laughs> no, there isn't. Hi, Mavis! Hi, Mavis! Hi, Mavis! Hi, Mavis! Well, hello, Mavis! Oh, oh well. 
Now that is it. I can't find her. <laughs> <laughs> Great idea, Cherry. <laughs> it worked. Bertram! Do we shrink from a challenge? <sighs> we rise to it. Radio, camera ready. I'm going to find that cheery, cherry megastar if I have to stay here all week. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> And we're rolling. Hello, you lucky people. It's Mavis Maraschino, and this is Lifestyles of the Very Big Bitty Stars, where today the question is, where in the world is Cherry Jam? This reclusive superstar seems even more reclusive than ever, but never fear, Mavis knows she's near. <laughs> You girls can't enjoy a relaxing vacation if you're busy hiding me the whole time. Why don't I just let her do the interview, and I'm sure she'll leave. Are you sure? How bad can it be? I'm coming out of hiding. Hi, Mavis. Here I am, ready for camera. <gasps> ready for camera? Ah! Cut, 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 cut. Astounding asteroids. They make you cook your own food. I mean, what kind of a resort is this Berry Breezy Bay? Um, but it's not Berry Breezy Bay. Cherry, looks like you need a lesson in superstarring. Mavis knows. Come, come, Twinkles. <gasps> Time for a sweep, Starshine. The water's fine. <laughs> huh? What? That wasn't nice, Mavis. Yeah! Ooh, I'm so sorry, dear. I'll make it up to you. I'll make you the star of my next episode. There you are, Moonglow. Now lie back. Relax! <gasps> well, don't just lie there like a fallen meteor. Please, fetch Cherry a refreshing beverage. Huh? <sighs> I'm sorry, Mavis. I can't do this. I can't have my friend. You're right. Only I, me that is Mavis, can show you how a glamorous vacation is vacationed. Where do I check in? Our first guest. <laughs> Isn't it? Uh, well, there are no words to describe. Now this is how a superstar vacations. Oh, that's her eighth lemonade. And she keeps asking for fresh towels. Well, just think. She'll give our resort a great review. And we'll probably have lots of guests next summer. That would be great. Except she keeps calling our resort by the wrong name. Girls, I think it's time that I just, well, politely ask her to... Leave. Ask her to leave? But, oh, Bitterberries, we've never asked anyone to leave Berry Bitty City before. It seems so unfriendly. Well, she's unfriendly. That doesn't mean we have to be. But we were supposed to be the first guests, not her. <sighs> if only we hadn't made her so comfortable. Now she'll never leave. Comfortable? <laughs> oh, did I ever get an idea. This one's gonna work for sure. Rolling. Mavis Maraschino here on a beautiful moonlit night at Berry Breezy Bay Resort. Psst, they're almost ready. Great. Okay, everybody, you all remember what to do? <laughs> crab control to lizard leader. Crab control to lizard leader. The crabs are ready. Lizard leader to crab control. The wizard is ready. Operation Make Mavis Comfortable is a go. Here goes. <laughs> Cherry Jam? <gasps> Run for your life! It's the attack of the pinching crabs! <laughs> <laughs>
Zeus, turn off the storm. Mavis, are you all right? Oh. Quite a storm, wasn't it? Oh, we have them all the time. Oh, yeah, along with that four-headed lizard monster and those pinching crabs. Oh! So, you won't hurt our feelings if you want to leave. I mean, that's just too much danger for anyone. We'll understand. <laughs> this is incredible! Oh! oh! I had no idea how exciting it is here. The thrill of going mano a Mavis with nature herself. This place has brought me alive. Oh, don't hate me, Cherry Starshine, but I'm finished with celebrity reporting, fluff and silliness. My new show will be an extreme adventure series starring moi. I'll call it Mavis, one maraschino against nature. With all its hazards, this resort is the perfect location. I'll be stationed here permanently. Aww. Lemon? Oh! What's that? Hair topiary. Animal hair topiary. Scented. Well, uh, speaking of hair, we wanted to schedule our appointments. Sorry, girls, but as you can tell, I need every moment to practice. Oh. Tiger? A bit more zebra, I think. Well, they both have stripes. Anybody seen Raspberry? She'll be here in a bit. She's working on her dress. And Lemon? Still locked in her salon with her hair zoo? Yep. What can we do to help? Can you paint a snowy mountain backdrop for Princess Berrykin? Sure thing. And this. 
a recording of my music recital with nine mistakes. Oh. Cherry said we have talents beyond music. Raspberry, you will be in the show. Wasn't she sublime? So glad to be here at Berry Bitty City's first talent show. Uh, say, did you hear that one of our baby Berrykins ate his homework? <gasps> his teacher told him it was a piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> you know how strawberry shortcake keeps Pupcake from barking in the back seat of Cherry Jam's tour bus? She moves him to the front seat. Why did the piece of toast go to the doctor? Because it was feeling really crummy. <laughs> Great idea to have the girls help me model. You really saved my act, Raspberry. Sure, Lemon. And now, please welcome Lemon Meringue and her unusual animal topiary hairstyles. Uh, scented. <laughs> You're on. so many different talents here in Berry Bitty City. Wasn't it wonderful to see all of it on display tonight? Yeah! Yeah! And now, the winners are... Third place, Raspberry Torch Magical Musical Glitter Gown! Congratulations, Raspberry! Second prize to Lemon Meringue for her animal hair topiaries, scented. <laughs> and the winner is Barry Kin Bloom for his comedy. <laughs> that's that's me. <gasps> oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> You didn't win first place, Raspberry. Oh, Lemon, I don't think I would have even made third if it wasn't for your glitter gown idea. <gasps> Thank you. That's what friends are for. Excuse me, Miss Raspberry Tort. <laughs> Here's my car, darling. Give me a call when this hoopla dies down. I'd like to talk to you about your absolutely fabulous fashions. In my opinion, they were absolutely above and beyond the star of the show. Ooh. 